Hello everyone, today we're going to have some Pilates for beginners. If you've never tried Pilates before and you want to see what it's like, this is the video for you. If you're just about to go for a class outside and you want to see what it's like, you want to practice at home, this is the video for you. If you're intermediate or advanced and you, and you want to go back to the beginning, practice the fundamentals of Pilates, this is the class for you. So we're going to just start it here, seated, cross your legs together, move the cheeks of the bottom out. Lengthen the crown of the head up. So we're trying to really lengthen the spine. Relax the shoulders and just breathe in through the nose. And slowly breathe out through the lips. Relaxing the face, relaxing the chest, relaxing the body. Inhale and slowly exhale. Keep on feeling like you're lengthening the neck, lengthening the whole spine and growing taller. Breathe in through the nose. And breathe out through the lips. If you can place your hands on your rib cage and as you inhale through the nose, you will feel your rib cage pushing your hands away from each other. Inhale and exhale. Rib cage is getting closer. Breathing in, breathing out. Right, and you want to make sure you're keeping the shoulders down and away from the ears. Great, and with keeping that in mind, we're going to move on to the back. Lay down on your back. Lengthen the back of your neck. Place your head as far and as tall as you can, away from the tail. Feet are parallel in your hip distance apart. So hip distance apart, just to find these bones here, the hip bones. And you want to make sure that your knees are floating right above these bones. Your feet will be as well at the same width, so it's not wider and it's not smaller than your hip width, okay? Make sure they're aligned with each other and lay on your back. So you can feel your head resting nice and comfortably. There is a little arch in the back of your neck. Your chest, your rib cage is resting down and then there is another little arch in your lower back. Then you can feel the very lower back, the sacrum bone resting, as well as the cheeks of your bottom. Then you have the, feel, the feet. Try to feel the feet active on the floor, meaning that they have some weight on them. Chest is staying open, the collarbone is wide, and again, we practice the breath. This time, please place your hands on your hip. Inhale, hip and tummy. Feel the tummy rises up a little bit, like you're releasing the skin on your tummy. And as you exhale through the lips, feel your navel goes in. So we breathe in and we breathe out. One more time, breathe in, releasing the skin of the tummy and we breathe out, engage, wonderful. We're adding to it, arms by the sides, collarbone is wide, the chest is wide open, inhale through the nose and when you, when you exhale, just tilt the pelvis back. So you're deleting that little arch in your lower back. Breathe in and breathe out, deleting the little arch behind your back. The neck, however, stays neutral. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time. We, we can also call that posterior pelvic tilt. We're moving the, the pelvis backwards. And inhale. And one more exhale. And we're starting to roll up based on this motion. Inhale through the nose. Nice and slowly. We're curling up. So we're starting with the pubic bone rolling up. Pointing the tail forward to between your knees. And taking off the ground one vertebra at a time. All the way up. Great. So you want to try and keep the rib cage closed here, knees parallel to each other. Make sure you're not opening or gathering the, the knees to each other. Tail is between your knees. Breathe in again. And to release slowly down, we have to control with our core muscles, with the center of the body. Rolling down slowly, bone by bone, all the way down. Inhale. Again, posterior pelvic tilt, deleting the little arch. And go ahead and curl up. Again, make sure you're not expanding the ribs too much. They're staying nice and connected. 
arms by the sides, not rounding the shoulders, and inhale. Exhale, curl down all together, breathing and roll up. You want to maintain the head right in the center. Inhale. Back to the neutral spine. Let's take it three more times. Exhale, roll up. One vertebra at a time. Articulating your spine up. Inhale. Exhale. Roll all the way down. Two more. Exhale from the neutral spine, curl up, bone by bone, up, inhale, and exhale, melting the chest, the middle, the lower back, all the way to your tail, and inhale, exhale, last one, roll up, stay right here, and roll down, one vertebra at a time, all together. We're going to keep the arms down here, and just say yes. So you're lengthening the back of the neck and you can feel as though you're holding a tennis ball behind you. So we're doing the preparation for the chest lift. We're going to say yes. And lift up the chest, feel the hands sliding forward. Still not pressing the chin down and gently lower down all together, inhale. Exhale. And inhale to lower down. You can see that when you flex your chest forward, Tummy wants to pop out. Try and keep your tummy engaged in and roll all together. Breathing. And breathing. We'll take three more with the arms down. Exhale. Curl up. And you feel like you're lengthening the spine as you lower down. Breathing. Breathe out. Stand firmly on your feet throughout this one. And down. Inhale. Exhale, and I think just last one, breathing. Exhale, lift up, We're making sure the tummy is engaged and lower down. Let's interlace the fingers, place the hands behind your neck. With your thumbs, try and elongate your neck. Try to keep your elbows nice and steady in the side of your gaze, so you're not closing or opening it too much. Saying yes to begin with, just to lengthen the back of your neck. Inhale through the nose, engage the tummy to begin with. So you're drawing the navel in, lifting up, and you lower down nice and gently, keeping the arms exactly as they are. Exhale, breathe in, and breathe out. In this exercise, you really want to feel the abdominals working. Make sure you're losing your comfort zone and you're leaving it. You're going out to feel the abdominals exercise. Inhale. And exhale. So all you want to think is a chest float. Floating the chest up. Breathe in. Exhale, lift up. A great tip here to feel the abdominals really good is to keep the head nice and heavy, resting between your hands. And we'll take here the last one. Just in order to stay up here, standing firmly on your feet. Deep inhale, exhale. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. And lower all the way down and release. On the same idea, we're going to take a nice inhale, lift up and twist. Breathe in and breathe out to lift. You want to make sure you keep on stabilizing your hip and just twist the chest from side to side. Again, we are yet keeping the elbows exactly at the same angle the whole time. Just twist and release as you breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. If you want to make sure you're going just in the right amount, make sure that you're peeling both shoulders off and feeling still one shoulder blade on the mat. Okay? So you want to make sure you're not just shifting the weight from side to side, but you're going nice and tall from one side to the other. Another good idea is to think of bringing one rib towards the opposite hip, right rib towards the left hip. Let's take two more to each direction. One, and twist, breathing, twist, 
Go back to the center, roll down slowly, and again, find your neutral spine. Head is resting down, a little arch in the back of your neck. Chest is resting down, a little arch behind your back and the hip. Now you want to make sure that your hip bones that we've already covered are aligned with each other so you're not rolling up or rolling down. Keep them there, take a deep inhale, exhale, draw the navel to the spine, maintain the same little arch in your lower back and float one knee up. When you lift the knee up, you want to make sure it's not too close, it's not affecting your lower back and it's not too far and lower all the way back. Inhale, exhale, lift 90 degrees in the knee, 90 degrees in the hip and lower, breathing. very advanced you should feel your abdominals working here trying to maintain that little arch in your lower back exhale I find it very hard for beginners to feel that right away so take your time be patient and you'll feel the lower part of your abdominals once you do it long enough and breathe in so just trying to maintain these hands here, making sure that when you pick up the right leg, you're not shifting the hip down. Keep it nice and aligned. Inhale. Throughout the exercise, you want to make sure that the rest of your body is staying nice and calm to the floor. Stomach is active. Chest is open. Very vivid breath. Exhale as you lift. <sighs> Inhale as you lower. Another important point is your feet. When you pick up the leg, make sure you're pushing with your foot and return nice and gently to the ground. Exhale, breathe in, last one to the left and come back. Wonderful. Go ahead and pick up the right knee, place both hands on that knee. And on the ceiling, we're going to draw circles. So embrace the knee to the chest. Make sure you're not moving the knee you're not moving the knee from the leg, but from the arms. So let your arms be in charge first. And reverse. So first, the arms are working, the leg is resting. Now we're keeping the arms by the sides and we're just moving the knee. See if you can do that and maintain that neutral spine. And reverse. Other way around. Good. Come back to the center and we change. Hold on to your other leg. Try and maintain the neutral spine. And circle where the leg is passive and your hands are active. Not easy to keep that neutral spine and reverse. So using the elbows rather than the shoulders, stay there and keep on going, keeping the hip neutral. Trying to keep the rest of your body quiet. And that is the very preparation for the next exercise, which is the leg circle. So we're going to extend the arms to the sides, lengthen one leg, lengthen the other leg up, and we inhale to cross Exhale, draw a circle on the ceiling with the tip of the toes. Inhale, and exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, and exhale, and we're going to reverse. Breathing in, and breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, again, we're trying to keep the leg nice and long. If you can't keep it perfectly quiet, that's also okay, as long as you can keep it as one unit. Let's change. Other leg. Going all the way up. Shoulders are down and away from the ears. The chest is open. The leg is long. Even if it's not straight, it's still acting as one unit. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale. 
Exhale, two more. Breathe in. We're trying to keep the rest of the body nice and quiet. And work from the core. Breathing in to open. Breathe out to settle. Inhale. <clears throat> Exhale. Breathing. Last one here. Breathing in. Breathe out. And we gently release the leg all the way down. Stand on your feet. Drop the knees from side to side. So, we're going to move on to lay on the tummy, but not before we're doing some mermaid. So, let's open up the chest. Lengthen the arm up. Stretch to the side and lengthen back to come back. All the way sideways. And come back up. Joseph Pilati says you're as young as your spine. This lovely exercise, the mermaid, is emphasizing on stretching the waist. This kind of side bend is not something we usually do anymore in our daily motions. So that's a lovely way to practice the side bend of the spine. Come back to the center. Before we move to the other side, we will practice some twist in the spine. So cross your legs together, move the cheeks of the bottom out, lengthen the crown of the head up, relax the shoulders, keep the chin right above the chest and cross your arms on your chest. The head is moving as one unit with the chest and we're going to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So we're practicing the obliques with the breath, inhale, Breathe in and breathe out. Let's try and do the same thing with the arms long. Arms going is one unit with your chest. So make sure you're not moving the arms along. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and Last time, inhale and use that to practice that navel in and breathe out. Right, we're moving on to all fours. When, on, when you're on all fours, you want to keep the hands as wide as your shoulders, your knees as wide as your hips. So remember those hip bones right above the knees. Chest is nice and open, the collarbone is wide and we're finding a neutral spine again. You want to make sure you're not dropping the chest down, the head down, or just lifting the tail too tall. So you want to try and keep the head aligned with the rest of your spine. The tummy is nice and active, and we're going to practice the cat and cow. So we start by inhaling here, releasing the skin of the tummy. Exhale, we draw the navel to the spine and we try to round our back so that the arms are aligned with the head. In fact, the head is between your arms and the tail is between your knees. Come back to the center as you inhale and go again. Breathe in and breathe out. We're trying to keep the head in the center. Make sure you're not tilting the ear to the side and exhale. Moving on, we're moving to the other side where we arch the back. So as you inhale, try and glide the shoulder blades down. Avoid any wrinkles in the neck so you're not shortening the back of your neck. Open up the chest, point the tail up. Inhale, exhale. Pelvic floor is engaged, belly button in and we round the back. Breathe in and engage pelvic floor and belly button and round your back. We're trying to round both the upper and the lower part of the back equally as much as possible. Round the back, breathe in and breathe out. Two more, breathe in. Wonderful, wonderful exercise to reduce back pain, to strengthen and elongate, elongate the spine and last one. Next we're going to stay in the center and we're going to move the head and the tail to the right and come back to the center. Head and tail going to the left, 
So again, we have that side bend. Move to the side and come back to the middle. Left and back to the middle. You can picture as though you're, imagine as though you're trying to listen to the bottom and come back. Left ear goes to the left side of the bottom and come back. Last one to each side. So we had a flexion forward and backward, now we have a side flexion. Come back to the middle. Stretch yourself before we're laying on the tongue. Shoulders down and away from the ears. It's called the rest position or the child's pose. Release. And we're moving to lay on the tummy. So lengthen your body. Toes turned out a bit, heels in. And we're resting the head on our hands. Chest is open to the floor. And we start practicing again, as always, first the breath. So inhale through the nose and exhale through the lips as you're engaging the tummy. So even though we're laying on the tummy and it's hard for us to see the tummy, it's very important to start by just engaging the tummy. So you can picture and feel the spine, the navel, sorry, goes up to your, towards your spine and goes up to the ceiling and release. So we breathe in and we breathe out, engaging the navel. Two more, breathing, breathe out, breathing, and breathe out. Now we're adding, the head is floating up, so take a nice inhale, hands are going to be by the sides, chest is open, so make sure you don't close the chest this way, breathe in, and breathe out, lift, breathe in. So we're trying to work from the center of the back. Breathe up. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Breathe into lower. Now the common mistakes in this exercise is moving the chin up and down. Please avoid moving your chin. Try to make sure you're working from the back rather than the neck. So you don't want the head to come up. Basically you're keeping the chest Sorry, basically you're keeping the neck always on the same angle. So you want to see that the eyes looking always to the mat. Another great and important point to pay attention to is your back. If there is a great back ache, make, make sure you're not arching the back. Keep the tail down. If it's still hurting, you can try and go to this posterior pelvic tilt. Keep on going. Exhale. Inhale. Remember, navel goes first and then the chest flows. That's a great exercise if you're suffering from back problems. Exhale and inhale. Strengthening the back this way. It's a wonderful exercise. Do more. I used to really hate back exercises because I have a hyper arch in my lower back. But actually, these kind of exercises made my spine much stronger. Last one. Exhale, lift and hold. And release all the way down. Good. You should feel your upper back working quite nicely here. Bend the knees and drop the knees from side to side to release. So we're taking just last exercise here. A bit more advanced on the tummy, and then we finish the session for today. So lengthen the legs out, take a deep inhale, lift up the head and the chest, and try to lengthen the arms behind you. And gently return to the starting position. In fact, let's return with the hands under the forehead. So we're going to push the floor, lengthen the arms just to hold on another second here, then bend the elbows and return all the way back down. Exhale. Tummy goes in, and gently lower. Try and release the cheeks of the, of the bottom as much as they want to engage in. Try to relax the cheeks and work really from the abs and back. Inhale to prepare. Feel like you're floating and breathing. Navel in and reach the hands as far as you can. Come back. Last one and hold for five, four, three, 
two, and one. Place the hands underneath your shoulders. Roll yourself back and stretch to the child's pose again, releasing. Breathing. Roll yourself up slowly. Relax the shoulders. Release the neck. Reverse to the other side. Lengthen the arms up, breathe in. I hope you enjoyed our short session today of basic Pilates. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to seeing you.